Hello. So, some of you guys were asking for a story about animals this week. I got several different requests. Stories about unicorns, stories about volcanoes, stories about animals. So I found one about an animal. And I'll keep looking for volcano and unicorn stories. How's that for ideal? So this story is about Elmer. And this book is upside down. Does that make it better? Elmer by David McKee. What is Elmer? Hmm. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin, and all were different, but all were happy. And almost all of them were the same color. Elephants all tend to be gray, don't they? I don't like people. People have a lot of different colors of skin. It makes us interesting. Elephants, they're just gray. Oh, all except for Elmer. Hmm. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. He was yellow and orange and red and pink and blue and purple and green and black and white. That's a cool elephant. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. Got lots of good tricks, looks like, and a great sense of humor. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of a bunch and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. What do you think he's gonna do with that? Then Elmer laid down and rolled over on the berries. This way and that way, he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. Well, that was kind of a clever idea. wonder how that's going to work. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. They didn't know who he was. When Elmer joined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. I don't even know which one is Elmer. Can you tell which one is Elmer? And he stood there. Elmer felt that something was wrong, but what? Something's not right. He looked around, same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. But is he the same Elmer when he covers up who he really is? The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice, he shouted. What's he gonna shout? Boo! Ha, gotcha! Big old boo! The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to join the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. They're missing Elmer. 
And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. It's kind of fun to dress up to be something different once in a while, isn't it? Oh my, those are some fancy elephants. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white, and they have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the, elephant, in the Elmer's Day Parade, who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. So a lot of different ideas there of ways that you could color the elephant that you draw. The end. That's the story of Elmer. <laughs>